Hello and welcome to the celebration of the Trinity Sunday. Our entrance song will be Gather Your People, number 314. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. We honor the great revelation of God to us, that in the union of the three persons, God as the Trinity, there is the essence of love and relationship is in the very essence of who God is for us. So as we honor the most holy trinity, let us call to mind our need for the grace of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in our struggles with sin and temptation, and that God might bestow or give to us through these sacred mysteries and through the participation of those watching the video of Mass by God's grace with you uh, to help us grow in unity and in relationship with God and godly relationships with one another. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, Make known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us open our hearts and our minds to the word of God from Holy Scripture. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verses 4b through 6 and 8 through 9. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people. Yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 13, verses 11 through 13. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This so very familiar Gospel, for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son It can be one of these scriptures that goes in one ear and out the other without at all really stopping in our minds or our hearts because it is so familiar. One proposal I make for us to consider is that it is chosen for Trinity Sunday even though it doesn't have any mention of the Holy Spirit explicitly or directly because we have this image, or even really a teaching, from some leaders of the early church, that the Holy Spirit is the love between the Father and the Son, and that God is so full of power and being that, as I mentioned last weekend, for Pentecost Sunday, when we celebrate the pouring out of the Holy Spirit for the beginning of the church, that for The scripture to say God so loved the world that he gave his only son would say God the Father in the powerful love of the Holy Spirit gave us his only son so that those who believe in him might not perish and that's saying not obviously not mortal death but will not have eternal death you might say but might have eternal life. So this great working of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, certainly we know this and we probably hear it every year on Trinity Sunday and other times too. Uh, I imagine, for instance, maybe in confirmation preparation programs or the children getting ready for First Communion or people who are coming into the church um, this, in this season. We'll have heard some online talking about the Trinity. It is a mystery that we only know because God has revealed to us. And we don't have to try to sort it out, quite frankly, or figure it out or puzzle it out. Nothing wrong with that, to use the brains God gave us. But we can also just sort of fall into it, just you know, fall back like that... Uh, exercise of the trust fall where you know somebody's behind you or you think they are and you're supposed to just fall back and let go and, and hope and trust that they'll catch you. Um, simply to say this, that unity and essential love and relationship is the heart of who God is as Father, Son, and Spirit. And we then as being in the image and likeness of God Share that gift. Simply to say, what I invite all of us to do in the shadow of Pentecost, you might say, being just last weekend, um, and then today talking about the Trinity and it's the unity of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that we ask the Lord to unleash the Holy Spirit in great, powerful ways for our unity. Uh, in the human race, the human family, in our nation, in our church, uh, perhaps in your own circumstances of your own families or workplace or or neighborhoods, whatever, um, that as God is essentially the unity of love and relationship 
among three persons, that we would ask them, Father, Son, and Spirit, to give us a greater share in that reality. Us as the people of God, as people of faith, to be the seed for some new outburst of unity um, among people, for grace and power. And we can then be praying, as quite frankly, for some number of years now, many Christians have been praying around the world for some new release of the Holy Spirit, some new explosion of the Holy Spirit, some new greater pouring out of the Holy Spirit on the church and on the world. And God so loved the world that he gave his son, and they also say God so loved the world that he gave us his Holy Spirit, and he gave us his image and likeness. So I invite all of us to pray for that. Pray for your own personal Pentecost. I think I mentioned that last weekend. I might have used a phrase like that. Pray for the Lord to rise up in you in some new way in the person of the Holy Spirit to help you grow more fully into your identity as a son of God the Father or a daughter of God the Father to help you, and I'm saying this to myself as well, uh, give ourselves over to the life of Christ in us and say, Jesus, be more alive in me. And in that, to know that it comes about by the power and working of the love of God, which is to say, the power and working of the Holy Spirit. Now let us proclaim and profess our faith. Indeed, in this triune God, in the words of the creed, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us confidently yet humbly present our petitions before our faithful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, knowing that they hear our concerns. For vocations to all ministries of the church, priesthood, religious life, lay faithful and lay ministries and deacons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the hearts and minds and consciences of those in public life, even those who do not believe in God, that the Lord might still work on their consciences, a faculty that we believe, of course, God has imparted to all humans, that in civic leadership, education, health care, and community service, they may foster the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the strength of the Holy Spirit for each of us as we may need to mend our ways and that we may grow stronger in the ways of our lives that are pleasing to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Mass intention, the eternal rest and peace of the father of a parishioner, uh, David Herr. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy, gracious, mighty God, indeed we entrust these prayers to you. Father, receive these concerns of your children, and by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, you search me and you know me. All my thoughts lie open to your gaze. When I walk or lie down, you are before me. Ever the maker and keeper of my days. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it, Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that, in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too, and seraphim who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes. 
comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alexander, our Bishop, Peter, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Wenceslaus and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always 
free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. May God bless you with his love, always fill you with his love. May he hold you in the hollow of his hand. For the Lord is with you in goodness and love. May his light shine out in your heart. Happy are they who reflect his faith, seeking 
faith which others have found. May God bless you with his love, always fill you with his love. May he hold